Welcome back, thanks for watching. This video was actually planned for the beginning of last week, but my family and I came down with the worst bastard of a virus that I've ever had. So it's a little late, but you absolutely must check out the straight up bizarre Ray Epps sentencing transcript, where the prosecutor seems to admit that he committed multiple crimes, but then just decides he's been punished enough and wishes him well. You were serious about that? This may be the last we ever hear of Ray Epps, so stick around. I'm gonna go over all this with you here in a moment, but first give me a minute for a quick capitalism break and check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. If you're trying to navigate market turbulence, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment Safe Haven? With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that has stood the test of time, gold. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold, the ultimate safe haven. And if precious metals are new to you, Noble Gold Investments will hold your hand through the entire process. They have a team of experts who will guide you every step of the way to safety. Thousands of investors have shielded their retirement savings with Noble Gold Investments. Don't leave yourself exposed to the markets right now. It's way too risky. With gold at an all-time high and looking to climb further, it's the perfect time. And right now, get a free three-ounce silver American Virtue coin when you open an IRA with Noble Gold Investments today. Act now before it's too late. Call 877-646-5347 and claim your free coin now before it's too late. Or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, so we got these transcripts from the sentencing hearing for Ray Epps from Julie Kelly, who's a real clear politics reporter. If you haven't uh, read her stuff, you should definitely go check it out. Uh, but she tweeted out last week, I have obtained the transcript for Ray Epps' sentencing hearing earlier this month. It's a doozy. Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Gordon admits Epps committed multiple crimes on January 6th, also lamented Epps being unfairly scapegoated. <laughs> Oh, God. Your Honor, Ray Epps has been unfairly scapegoated, but he is not a victim. He was not a secret agent of the government on January 6th, trying to trick unwitting Trump supporters into committing federal crimes. That is not what happened, but he isn't innocent either. Yeah, no shit. Make no mistake, Ray Epps did not start the riot or cause it, but he did make it much worse. Excuse me. What? <laughs> committed multiple crimes on that day. He committed multiple crimes that day. So this is the prosecutor who should be going for the jugular, right? Especially somebody who's on video telling people to enter the Capitol and actually to storm the Capitol. But for some reason, he doesn't seem like he wants to do that. He's only pled to one because that's the plea offer we made him. But he committed multiple crimes that day. He was convinced that the election had been stolen and that the steal needed to be stopped and in their presence intimidate Congress into not certifying the election. And he did everything he did to make that happen the night before. On January 5th, he went down to a rally and he tried to persuade people that tomorrow we need to go into the Capitol. And even though he said, I'll probably get arrested for saying this. It never happened. All right, there's some more transcripts, but let me just say a few things about this one real quick. I think the way that they worded this might lend towards my theory that Ray S might just be a regular guy but he's getting a pass because if not they couldn't blame Trump they're just treating it as established fact that Trump caused it and if Ray Epps is the guy getting felonies because he was gathering people to storm the Capitol then it's not quite as easy to blame Trump weird now you're gonna start to really notice the sort of double speak nature of this entire thing because the whole first part they spent saying that he's not a victim and he committed multiple crimes and he wanted hordes of people to not just go to the Capitol but go in the Capitol but now it's gonna switch gears all that being said, I expect there's a lot that Mr. Ungarvsky is about to say that I'm going to agree with about the mitigating factors in Ray Epps' favor, particularly his efforts to de-escalate the conflict on multiple occasions, and the fact that he was the victim of this widespread conspiracy theory that is both false and continuing to be promoted by many. You talking to me? Real quick. 
Asking questions is not promoting a conspiracy theory. And the fact is, none of these questions have very satisfying answers. And I'm sorry, but I just don't buy these efforts to de-escalate the conflict because a lot of that mob very well might have been there because of his efforts. Getting the mob there, all riled up to enter the Capitol and then pretend just before the riot started that you whispered to a couple people to be peaceful and not riot does not save your butt. Or at least it wouldn't save anyone else's butt. That's exactly what makes this a conspiracy conspiracy theory. What's so special about this guy? And again, the only reason that this is a conspiracy theory is because of that lenient treatment, which they continue to give him. Bingo. Then there's this when Ray Epps does his struggle session statement and blames Trump for everything. The blame of the insurrection is not on the FBI. It is on those who were at the Capitol engaged in an insurrectionist activities and those who misled Americans like myself into believing the election had been stolen. Notice how tightly this all sticks to the state's script. Oh, and for your cooperation and conduct, you have been vilified and threatened in a way unique to January 6th defendants? <laughs> <laughs> there are no other defendants who have done what he did and then gotten away with it. He's literally the only one, which is why this is a conspiracy theory. You were hounded out of your home. You were hounded out of your town. Oh no. And you've had to live like a fugitive because of lies that others spread. What lies? He's on video doing it. It's undeniable. If he was a Fed or not, who knows? But the fact is, he got lenient treatment, he continues to get it, and that is extremely odd. And so the judge says, all right, again, Mr. Epps, good luck to you. I hope that you were able to continue your contributions to the community without continued threat of violence. Oh, thank you very much. Oh yes, thank you for our propaganda victory here, Epps, and for all you did to help us in our little operation. You've done your part to save democracy. It's just insane. It's like, to prove this conspiracy so false, we've admitted that he committed multiple crimes, and now we're just letting him off scot-free. And as far as I know, they never, ever mention the fact that Ray Epps told Baked Alaska that his plan was to storm the Capitol. In fact, it's something I almost never see anywhere other than Twitter. Why would they leave that out? Why would they treat the guy who planned the whole thing as some sort of a victim? While everyone else that's even loose associated with January 6th is hated and has the full force of the law thrown at them. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you'd like to discuss this with me further you can find me in my discord server. The links for that in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.